Oh, hey guys. Do you have a light? Yes, we do. Lovely. So the chest and um, quad. Right. So straight in, we are going with a flat dumbbell press. So for our upper body exercise. Now again, these are really nice because they'll get your heart working quite a lot because it has to pump. We've got 12 reps on 12 this. reps, yeah. pumping the blood to the upper body and then we're going to be going to the lower body. So this will be more puffing and puffing in this one. Okay, so again, with these, make sure solid base, arch in the back, and we have turned to 45 degrees, tucking the elbows down, up, squeeze in, without overreaching with the shoulders, okay? Like now, that. it's gonna be pretty light, but it's all relative. There's high reps, so 12, should burn more, okay? But not super heavy. Again, don't take it easy, but. Okay, then we're going straight into a rear foot elevated lunge, okay? So, with this one, you're just gonna get a bit more stretch through it. So as we drop down, you're gonna make sure that you push through the front heel, that's the main thing. And you're gonna try and aim the back knee to get right down, okay? So always, again, full range of motion, and there is a bit of extra range of motion in this one. Make sure you use your weaker leg first, um, and make sure you have a wide enough stance so you keep stable. Yeah, we've got 12 each side on that one as well. 12 each side, yeah. yeah. So that's really gonna get the pumping, okay? And then we have another night, it's been a long time since we've done these ones. Yeah. Okay, so ring press-ups. Now, loads of variety here. So at a very easy level, you can be quite upright, okay? Yeah. The key is you need to have the uh, straps in, in line contact. with your shoulder, or yeah. in contact with your hands, okay? So we'll get a few reps there. Stretch out, so you keep them very tight, like the dumbbells, very tight, and as they come in, you bring them in and squeeze. So what we don't want is, you know, like where you're kind of leaning on them, yeah, mm -hmm. coming, coming too wide, or holding them like up too high. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. You want to keep it nice and tucked in and see the way that brings them in there so the shoulders are always. And always nice remember and with the push ups, um, your chest, you have to aim your chest in between your hands and not your head in between your hands. Yeah, yeah. And then a harder version so, would a, be. A more difficult one. And be, again, just be careful with these, okay? Because it is like really, there's a lot of shaking. Okay, so you keep them in nice and tight. Stretch right down, up and squeeze in. Okay, so that's a really, really tough one, and you'll feel that in the chest if you come in and really tighten. That's paired with a walking lunge. So yeah. it's been a long time since we've done these. We've got a little, uh, a little bit of like traffic rules now. Yeah, so with this one. <laughs> different, in, different in both gyms. Um, yeah. We'll show you as we go. So the main thing is keep your feet hip distance. Okay. There. And, and when you step through, we want again full range. So back knee kisses the ground. Pushing through the front foot. So same kind of rules as this one, but this is a movement, so it's more dynamic. So you'll actually get a little bit more glutes. That's the main difference in this. <laughs> like We've got that. 10 each, each side, and we're gonna go up over this side. It'll be like, it'll be like, it'll be like uh, in Glenagiri, it'll be like a swimming pool, you know, when you're in the fast lane. You have to go in in a cycle, you yeah. know? Yeah. I think you brace downs, we're gonna go all the way around the world. Like, go around the push section. Anyway, oh, it's the excitement, know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, now we're gonna do an incline fly. All right, so this is more isolating the chest. So on this one, it's all, again, very much about technique. So you come up, you put a little kink in the elbows, and then you're gonna open them up, puff the chest up, so you feel a stretch across the chest. Really nice one for opening up the chest as well. And as you come up, it's more consciously think about squeezing in the chest together. So it doesn't go lax at the top, but if anything, you're tightening even more consciously. Okay, and then this one is paired with a sumo squat. 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 So this is an interesting one. You can go nice and heavy with this one. A lot on the adductors or the inner thighs yeah. for this one. So a nice wide stance, okay? And you flare the knees out, chest is up, so very postural, and it's like a partial squat, so you're only working the top range. Okay, so touch and go. And what we really want to do is keep tension on. So see the way the rally, as soon as she's up, she's back down. So you'll start to bring the burn into the muscle. So you're not coming up Oh yeah, standing. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's a, good, it's, a, it's a good day. And then for abs on this day, we're going to do the side bends. Side bends, yeah. So you can just can use one of them or, or. Either a dumbbell or a plate. And we're going to go with 12 each side on this. So we do a little teapot. Okay, so you're, if the weight's in that hand, you're working your other oblique on this side. So it's good to touch it and get a full stretch without twisting or rotating. You just think you're stretching, opening up this muscle here. And then as you come up is where you consciously contract it and keep it nice and tight. Yeah. All right, cool. Lovely, Lovely day. Enjoy.